Ah, uh, lovely. Now the recording is on. At least I caught it this time. My goodness, this entire week has been a absolute travesty. Nevertheless, I hope everybody is, uh, I hope everybody can actually hear me, and, uh, we're just gonna wait and hope and see that the game audio will actually continue to be, well, good. In that, in any case, let me just go ahead and turn this up before I go insane. And I almost, oh god, I have a, I have a burp incoming. Does it, does my body want to burp? Okay, that wasn't even a burp. That was just that was just my body just reacting to something. <laughs> well, okay then. I guess this is how we're going to go ahead and start the day. Start the night rather because well, it is definitely getting dark at this point. So, let's just go ahead and jump right into things. What is up guys, gals? And my pals, welcome to the Friday stream. We're finally here, end of the week. We can finally celebrate the fact that I can finally shut the hell up. <laughs> no more of my voice over the weekend. You must, you guys must be absolutely thankful. Like, oh my gosh, I just wanted him to see play a game. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I hope everybody had a great great uh friday uh things were things were pretty nice all things considered for uh for me at the very least so i just hope uh, i can spread some of that good goody goodness over on to all of you folks and uh well i mean tonight we're coming back with some more elden ring action i uh i have some dumb ideas and also no idea what the hell it is i am doing but that's that's par for the course in Elden Ring, I guess. There's just so many things, but... Ah, uh, you know, it, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes I forget about this thing, sometimes I remember this this other thing. And I I forgot about the uh, the Carrion Knight armor set back in uh, the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Because... Of course I did. <laughs> of course I did. So, with that being said... Oh boy, there's definitely a... There's a lot of things to talk about, but also not a lot of things to talk about at the same time. It's kind of weird when, when I really think about it. But let's see how... Let's see how far we can... Uh, we can go ahead and stretch things out then. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the game because I... I am not very patient right now. <laughs> I really want to go. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm legitimately quite excited to get this game... Get this game in order here. Oh boy. Now, first things first, uh, we gotta do some... We gotta do... Well, we gotta become the fixer here. No and out. fix up our... Oh, there it is. Oh man, I knew I shouldn't have... Uh... I knew I probably shouldn't have done the... Uh... Eating those uh, cracker pretzels. God damn it. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have, but... I still did anyway. All right, now we're back to the rapid strikes. Oh, we could upgrade the, uh... We could upgrade the Uchi Katana to a plus seven. But what does that really give us, though? Not a whole lot. We can upgrade the God Slayer Seal and we can get it to A, uh... To A. Uh, A scaling. There we go. But we don't have enough, uh... We most certainly do not have enough stones for that madness. I am afraid. But it is what it is. And I still need to... Uh, we could. We could upgrade the dismounter, but we don't even have the stats to wield it. Unless we... Unless we go ahead and uh, two-hand it, which I kind of don't want to to begin with. Whew. So yeah, <laughs> there's nothing we can do here, sadly. Um, speaking of which, the uh, <clears throat> the bell tower back in uh, back in Liurnia, there is actually a way to get onto it, but it actually uh, takes a it takes a long t long ass time to uh, jump on there. You, you you know what I'm saying? Oh, I thank you. 
There's your brother in arms. Oops. So what can I do for you? Ah, okay, so he just talked about the, uh... He talked about the death root shenanigans, whatnot. Okay, nothing special there. Uh, Fia, do you actually have something for me? Um, would you like? She probably no. has something for us. So let's actually go ahead and get hugged before we decide to throw ourselves into the fray of Elden Ring because, God forbid, we're gonna we're gonna get our asses just absolutely annihilated. So we can use the hugs. Very. Good day to you. Oh, she doesn't have anything for us. Aw, that's actually a bloody shame. Ah, man. Gotta stay hydrated, folks. I'm, I am... God damn it, I really shouldn't have eaten those bretz... Those, those... I keep calling them bretzels. They're... They're cracker pretzels, and there's no B in them, so why am I calling them bretzels? I'm- I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I'm- I'm very weird. I'm very weird in that context. It's kinda... It's kinda dumb. Very dumb, I would say. Ah, well then. What well, let's see, the- Ah, yeah, Corin wants to go now. Good! I don't like Corin, so he can go and, uh, buzz off. This guy has given me no... This guy looks pathetic. He's... I just don't like Corrin. I, I just don't like the Prophet outfit either. Just absolutely ridiculous looking individual. Oh, man. There's something I should mention to you as well. I'm thinking of leaving the Round Table Hold. No kidding. Do you know of the Noble Gold Mask? Though he was but a tarnished, living outside the lands between... He was a great scholar, who foresaw the coming guidance of grace. And now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone, to contemplate the Golden Order. I wish nothing more than to seek his instruction, and perhaps even help him in his research. May the Golden Order... Alright, so now we are, uh, for the most part, done with that uh, bullcrap, although we should probably talk to... Gideon jack off near because yeah we unfortunately probably have to interact with him in the future more well i see you found another great room wonderful you are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed make the journey to the capital landell that lies to the east of the altus plateau at the foot of the earth tree the two fingers will deny your passage no longer you may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished, and we must answer the call of grace. All right. <laughs> so that's about it. Journey to the kitchen. Or actually, hold on. I want to know if he talks about something about the medallions. Find the Albinoric. She hides in a cave. She knows. No, he he doesn't talk about anything about the uh, the medallions. So. Eh, that's, that's fine. That's not at all important, I would say. Uh, okay, do we have any bell bearings? No. Alright, what I do want to eventually do... Okay, so we have some underground shenanigans that we gotta do. But I do want to go to, uh, Leyendel soon. Soonish. So, okay... I think I have an interesting idea. So what we're going to go ahead and do, folks, is we're going to go ahead and go to the underground right here. Right around here. Then after we're done here, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, travel up the cliffside. We don't necessarily need to take the lift. I'll think about traveling to the lift, but we don't necessarily need it. Uh... Uh, and then we can, because by going to Leyendel now, instead of going to Kaelid, we can actually, uh... Well, actually, no, because here's the thing. We can actually go to... We can go ahead and go to the, uh... The Aritz... The Aritza River? No, the Einsel River, underground. Then after we come out, then we can go ahead and go to Kaelid... 
what we can do. We might take on the uh, the avatar tree right here just so we can get the uh, the the tears. But most importantly is we can go ahead and go get uh, the the golden scarab. Just so we can get some extra runes on our uh, on our journey up to uh, Leyendel. Then we're gonna go ahead and get the Nagakiba. Finally, we're gonna take on uh, the Apostle over on top of the uh, on top of the Windmill Village. That sounds like a perfect plan, I say. Yes, absolutely. That sounds. Like an excellent idea. That's so jolly perfect of me. Oh, mate. It's time to get this plan in action. Let's go! Alright, there is also the, uh... There is also the tower over here that I should probably, maybe, uh... Ah, I forgot about this tower. Although, to be honest, there really isn't anything, uh... Anything there at the tower. But we might as well also do that one, too, while we're here. Not, uh, not a big deal. Okay, baby! What you, what you got? Ow! Oh, so it's a little quiet on my end, so I've got to buff it up. Yeah, how do you like them apples, huh? Ooh. Ooh, okay, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, boy! Eat the fire! <laughs> no way, it's still alive! Wow. Oh my god, but well, we got the golem's halberd! We got the golem's halberd! Are you kidding me? Jesus, that's a big boy. Holy Jesus, that's a big boy. Well, no matter, I guess. Oh, baby, that was that was fun. <laughs> that was incredibly fun. Ah, uh, I, I I love it when a plan just comes together, eh? It it's all part of the plan. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Uh oh, I temporarily do have the strength to uh to wield, uh, to wield stuff, but I think the smarter choice is to equip the, uh, oh no, no, oh, what the hell did I just do? Give me my seal back. Give me my seal back. There we go. Now, the reason why I'm getting the longbow is, as usual, because one of these damn giant-ass ants I cannot lock onto. One or one or both of them, you know. Usually it kind of depends. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is incredibly just dumb and risky. Whoa, okay. Hey little boy. How do you like them apples, huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. Charge it up. I am the god slayer. You're not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> actually, hmm, can I actually aim the black flame? Up you go! Oh, that didn't go very well. Come on! Up you go! Yeah! <laughs> Suck it! All right, I didn't even need the uh, the longbow. That was that was quite literally perfect. I am an angle master. Ah, uh, but this part is actually going to be interesting. Oh, okay, I can target you. Boom! <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, uh, man. I, I still hate uh, Einsel River. Einsel River is... not my favorite location in the game. I, I just don't like giant ants. They... <laughs> They creep me the hell out. Plus, just... Just absolute nonsense, you know? I, I really don't like this place. It, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies, for the most part. It really just gives me 
the total heebie-jeebies. All right, time to go, Blood Flame. Oh God, did you just seriously do that? I did not know it was gonna go ahead and target me with the with the stinger, and the and the stinger is very horrible. Oh God. Uh, we're not gonna go that way because there is no reason to go that way. Okay. Buddy! How do you like how do you like the blood flame? Ooh, yeah, yeah that's not gonna do good for you, is it? <laughs> Ooh, by a bongo. I, I I do like the uh Blood Flame Blade is mighty useful. It is definitely mighty mighty useful. Ooh, hey. Okay. I mean, I, I wish Black Flame Blade was actually, you know, like a full duration thing, but at the same time, having the uh, the Black Flame uh, Blade incantation being a, uh, a, a uh, drawstring kind of movement, like very quick cast, very short time, that's honestly just not a bad idea in and of itself, personally speaking. I, I think, I honestly think that's fine. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. But, alright, that's fine. Boom, shakalaka! How do you like them apples, baby? How do you like my apples? My apples are fire. I've got apples of fire. <laughs> Woo! Oh God! Do it! Woo! Oh God! Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> God, those those ants really creep me the fuck out. Like really, really creep me the hell out. Did that just miss? I, I, I never knew I could be such a shitter at a game. Oh my god. <laughs> I... I can't believe I'm so bad. I completely missed a throw. <laughs> oh man, All right, we're... Well, we're off to a... We're off to a good start here. And finish you off. There we go. We have nothing else over here. So we can go ahead and enjoy our uh, lovely little exploration venture. And then we're getting to the most annoying part of this entire area, in my opinion. I hate the Ool Palace ruins. Oh my god. I really hate this place. Just... I just hate these, uh, these claymen over here. No, I'm not talking about Yu-Gi-Oh's Elemental Hero claymen either, just... THE claymen that shoot bubbles and are stupidly... stupidly tanky. Oh god. Uh, one thing we should do, however, is pick up the side of grace over here. But we have to go ahead and call up a ladder, baby. We gotta call up a ladder. Not a ladder, a, uh, an elevator. Oh, dear God. Nope, this is not, not at all what I wanted here. Hi, uh, can the lift come down? May the real lift come down. Please come down. Please come down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I thought the, uh... I thought the claimant was actually gonna ride up onto the elevator. Nope. That was way too close. Hi, hi, hi. But, whatever. Whoa, that's a, that's a real face-up view right there. Also, is my character's eyes... Did I actually... Yeah, I think I made them like that. Yeah, kind of weird. But, uh, also fitting. Also fitting. I'm not gonna lie. Also quite fitting. But, okay. Oh, wait. Actually, can we, uh, can we level up right now? No, because... Because that's... That's reserved for the good... 
for the good gamers, obviously. So, no, of course I cannot, cannot level up. That was weird. Did you guys experience any, uh, uh, did you guys experience some kind of weird quality issue? I have no freaking clue. <laughs> well, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Gonna, gonna just ignore that even happened and, uh, you guys, you guys can let me know if some kind of nonsense has occurred. But yeah. Uh, oh god, yep, go ahead and get the, get the glove worked. Oh god, not the bolas. Not the bolas. Nope, don't throw them bolas. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright. Okie dokie. Man. So today we finally got some sunlight in my area. The, p the previous days were just literal trash, in my opinion. Just... Not a good time at all. Cloudy, fog patches, stormy. Like, what the hell, man? That's not the kind of fun I... That's not the kind of vibe check I wanted in this life, you know? That's not really, uh... That's, that's not really, uh, too fun, I will say. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Oh, okay, that's good. That's mighty good, I must really say. whoop da 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 And then we're just gonna go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy, come on. Give me a challenge. These Estelle don't really take a lot of hits. Oh. Okie dokie, artichoke. Easy. Come on, this place is easy, but it's also just... It makes me want to just word vomit a very bad critique of this, uh, of this entire map here. Just... But unfortunately, I'm not Eminem, so... <laughs> it's, not, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Uh, go ahead and purchase these fellows. And I will also purchase the Lost Ash of War because I do not want to come back here in the slightest. Thank you very much for your, uh, for your patronage. Righto. Righto futo. Oh, yeah, yeah. God damn it. We're, we're, like, we've, got, we've gone full weeb, although we haven't necessarily gone full weeb just yet with this build. We, we, we don't have enough edge. We, we really don't. We need more Black Flame. Which is something I hope for Elden Ring. I know I talk about this a lot, but uh, the Elden Ring DLC, I just hope, I seriously hope, they actually add in some uh, additional Black Flame incantations. Just more flavorful incantations in general that are actually strong and useful. Like, we need more Ice Lightning, for example. Ice Lightning is such a cool idea, and yet there's only one of them, and two, two, uh, two melee weapons, which are not exactly amazing by any standards, um, un unfortunately. That's, that's just the, that's just the way it is. Although, regardless, I still love the, the, uh, the Dragon Scale Katana, regardless. I think it's one of the coolest looking katanas in the game. <laughs> there, I said it. It is one of the coolest looking katanas. Like, goddamn, man. Just goddamn. I need a drink. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Chug it real good. Oh, man. I, I love water. <laughs> okay, I mean, everybody loves water, but, like, I really love just chugging down just a big bottle of water. Just, I could chug and chug, and then that moment of release, and just gasping for air. Oh, my God. I don't know why I get such a weird satisfaction from that, but, but I seriously do. It's... I'm- I'm hilariously weird. I am hilariously weird. Uh, that being said... 
Speaking of weird, we're back in, uh, t we're back in Terror Town again. And we're gonna need to do some exterminatus and up in this business. Yeet! Oh yeah, you, your friend just got burned to death and you're wondering why, how, oh my god, how did that happen? That, that ball of fire just came out of nowhere. I, 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 I don't know. It just sort of happened that way. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, let's go ahead and do some, uh, exterminatus right here. Man, the black flame is just killing them. It's not even, uh, doing any tick damage. It's just... <laughs> it's just... It's just absolutely wrecking them. Oh, man. Not even a fully charged one, either. Holy crap. I mean, I only have, like, 27 fa- Well, actually, because we have the, uh... We have the Great Rune active. We actually have about... We actually have more uh, than the usual. We actually have more than the usual thing, right? All right, boom, baby. And Blood Flame is still one of the, just, oh my God, Blood Flame on bleed weapons. Ridiculous, absolutely bonkers. Now, unfortunately, you can't really buff up weapons that are already arcane and scaling. I also don't think you can buff up, uh, the occult ones either. Although, that would be a pretty cool thing to try out, though. Oh, man, unfortunately, Roger's rapier was also nerfed with its, uh... I, uh, no, not, not, not the rapier, but, like, the, uh... I believe it was seppuku that was nerfed. So the R2 spam, the R2 heavy spam on Roger's rapier is probably not as effective anymore as it originally was, which is a, uh, which is a crying ass shame because I feel like, I still think it's, it could be very, very effective, Roger's rapier at any rate, but I don't know. That's, that's definitely a build I want to try in the future, though. Something, something sounds very interesting, nevertheless. Although what I am more interested in is trying to create a, uh... Oh, whatchamacallit, a... A me a zv Yeah, well, there's two things I want to do in the future, and I hope I can do them. I'm curious if I could. Not sure if I should. But a Dexterity Zweihander build sounds very funny, but also actually kind of, kind of plausible. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just sounds, it just sounds like a fun idea. Stupid. Stupid, yes, but fun? Oh, absolutely. That's totally something I want to do. Double axe build, uh, power standing axes. I definitely want to try that again. Well, again, I just want to try it. I want to see if I can actually, you know, do it, right? Uh, I don't know, but I guess we're gonna go ahead and, uh... We're gonna go ahead and try. We're gonna give this a hearty try now. All right, everybody. Here we go. We're gonna be fighting the Dragonkin Soldier. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, pal. Woo, okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw some black fireballs, baby. Just died in the air! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was epic. We just we completely annihilated that dragon can sol soldier. That that guy did not stand a chance whatsoever. Oh, oh, that was 
Mwah, French kiss. That was beautiful. I don't think I could have done that any better. And with that, we are now pretty much done with, uh, with this area. But what we are going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead to the, uh, to the tower here. Because, of course, we gotta go to the bloody-ass tower. I don't want to be here. Legitimately don't want to be here, but... But, I guess we should. And you know what? We might as well have some fun. Ow. Okay. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, kill, kill the enemies whenever you got the chance to, because why the hell no, my friend? I completely missed that attack, but now we don't need to kill them. These guys are, oh, just, just, just nobles. <laughs> Bye, have a great day. That's, that's, that's the medieval version of a drive-by shooting. <laughs> uh, like, hold on. Hold on, if that's the case, then what is it actually called? Like, uh... Oh my gosh. It's like, a So, a medieval drive-by shooting, it would be like, uh... Caval <laughs> Cavalry jousting? <laughs> no, that's that sounds really lame. Hold on. Just... Wagon? <laughs> no. Great heck. I, I don't know. I don't know that someone smarter than me is probably going to figure it out, but I personally do not have an idea on what the absolute crap it is I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, but okay. Actually, now that I think about it, I never... I never actually... Uh, huh. I never actually played a Grand Theft Auto game in my life. Uh, never have I ever. Surprisingly. Never have I ever. Surprisingly. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, oh god, you actually just teleported all the way up there, huh? Huh. Interesting. Well, that's mighty interesting, to, uh, to say the very least. Oh, hi, fella. Nice try. Nice try, but, uh... Not enough! Oh, God. No! Fudge nuggets! I hate... I hate Preceptor Miriam. Preceptor Miriam is such a j absolute jackass. No, do not even bother, pal. Do not even try to attack me. Thank you for the Kyrian Glintstone staff. No. That glintstone stamp do be do be looking a little quirky. Oh god, I really want to do like a like a mage build, like a full-on battle mage. No, wait, no, uh, no martial weapons, just a stave and a shield. I I know which shield I want to use too. Oh god, that could be uh, disgustingly powerful. Now that I think about it, oh boy. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna buff it up here. Uh! Oh, God. Well, that did not go as planned in the slightest. Yep, that did not go as planned. Oh, no. <laughs> There we go! There we go! <laughs> Holy moly! We actually killed them on the, uh... We actually killed them at record time! Miriam is such a bastard! And yet we, uh... We managed to do... We managed to do alright! That's... That's what I like to see, in my opinion. That is... Absolutely the kind of stuff I like to see. Without a doubt. That's... That's very lovely. Thank you so much for not being... An absolute dick game. Oh, man. Why are these rats so incredibly tanky? What? 
That is an incredibly tanky ass rat. Unbelievable. Not even a full charge of the, uh, of the black flame can actually kill them. Huh. I'm, uh, I'm a little miffed, but I'm also just a tad impressed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeetus! Oh no, it actually did kill. What? So then what the hell just happened there? I don't freaking know. Oh, we got a, we got a, we, look, there it is again. Maybe it's because, uh, it was alerted? Maybe that's why I don't legitimately know. Also, there's an item down there and I want to get it. Give me the item. Give me the loot. Give me the, give me the loot. I am a greedy goblin. Yes, sir. Bonk. All right, just two hand this bitch. There we go. Always, you always gotta, I mean, two-handing anything in life is gonna give you better proficiency with it. That also includes your, uh, your sword downstairs if you got one. <laughs> if you're not what I'm saying. Uh, I am a mess. Alright, so. The next thing we are going to do is we are gonna challenge the tree avatar. Or actually, no, we're not even gonna challenge the tree avatar. Ooh, you know what? We're not- we're not gonna do that. We're actually just gonna go ahead and go straight to... Uh, straight to the, uh... Yeah, because I actually want to get as many runes as I possibly can, so in that case... We're gonna go ahead and use... Ah, whatchamacallit. Oh, did I not uh, get the side of grace? Yes, I did get the side of grace. All right, so welcome to Kaelid, everybody. But we're only going to be going here temporarily. Once again, I I will be back here uh, after I get my next Black Flame incantation and also Zanaga Kiba. In fact, it might actually be a good idea to get the uh, the Naga Kiba regardless because the Naga Kiba is. Really, really, really good. I it may it may replace the the uh, the Uchi Katana. That's how that's how that's how good it is. Mostly because it's just it just has better reach, and is overall just a better ass idea to begin with. So, yeah. Oh, do I actually want to go this way? Hmm. No, I am gonna get spotted if I go that way. Oh god, the flamethrower guys. <laughs> I hate those. I always wanted to do that badass execution that I always see everybody else doing on YouTube. But I, ju I just can't. I don't know why. I, I try to jump off uh, from my horse, try to get to them, and yet I still cannot do it. <laughs> I guess it's a skill issue, apparently. I... I honestly just have no freaking clue at this point. Okay, so the cavern... Yeah, this... this should be the place. So the cavern... Where the fudge is this cavern? Ah, oh, no, wait, it's, uh, yeah, it's right over there. Okay, I slightly misjudged it. Slight, just slightly, you know? It happens to the best of us, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Alright, so, with that being said... Oh, jeez. Actually, it might be better if I just do this, uh, without the horse for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much easier to do. Da 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 Oh, tightrope walking. All right. Easy peasy. All right, we are at our destination. God, I actually really want to go and defeat Grail and get the... Get her bloody runes. 
because that seems like a very good idea, but I need to go to Leyendale first. Well, the Altus Plateau, not, not the actual... Ah, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just, uh... We might as well level up here while we got the chance, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. Seems like a pretty solid idea. Oh, yeah, while we're at the Altus Plateau, we might as well also, uh... We might as well also pick up, uh, some other stuff, right? Like the Amber Shard and all of that jazz. Which, speaking of, speaking of Amber Shards, yeah, we're gonna have to think about, uh... What's his face again? Celibus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go ahead and finish off Celibus and get his magic scorpion charm. Okay, so what do we got here? We got two levels, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh... I think what we're gonna do is pump up our vigor and then pump up our dexterity. I think that's the only logical conclusion I can come up with. Oh, and... Oops. It would be very stupid of me if I did not equip this bad boy. Mm-hmm. Flame, cleanse me, baby. Cleanse me of my sins. Alright, so this part is gonna be... interesting. Oh, I should have equipped the, uh, the dagger. Now that I think about it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, you know what, let's get the, uh, let's get a dagger rolling here. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and wait for this. Oh god, get it, get it. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Alright, alright, so we got that going, we got that, we got that, we got that, we got, go, 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 go. Woo! Alrighty, baby. That's good. Good to go. <laughs> we took a lot of... Oh, God. We took a lot of damage here. Holy moly. That's why I don't like this place. This place kind of blows, but you can actually get some really good items from here, unfortunately. And... It... How the hell did I miss? How the hell did I miss? Woo! Okay, there we go. Alright, we're, we're, we're good. Uh, here's open. That I think so. And there is Mr. P How the hell did it go around the corner like that? Oh my gosh. Nope. Enough. What the hell did you give me? A toxic mushroom? I mean, I know I'm a toxic individual, but like, she's Louise! Oh, hell no. Nope. Absolutely not. Get out of here. Get out of here, son. I'm about to give you a music lesson. <laughs> God damn it. ERB. Epic Rap Battles of History still knows how to slap me and slap me the right way. It's hilarious. Alrighty, we're gonna go this way because... Holy fuck. Ow. Ow! God damn it! Why though? Why though? Okay, I gotta cleanse this poison. Oh, Jabus. Why though? Just burn. And there is an item we need to go ahead and get, unfortunately. Alright, get these uh, plants out of the way though. We might as well. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, there we go. Oh god, I forgot how heavy this thing is. Nope, come on. Go ahead and die. Die in a fire. Nope, that's not gonna do shit. That's not gonna do diddly squat. Come on! Die! Holy moly, what a tanky bastard. Wow! 
All that for a, for a Miranda powder. I mean, that's not the reason why we killed it. Just so I don't have to worry about the bullcrap of it spamming its lasers just to get a frickin' weapon, you know what I'm saying? Just, nah, that, that's not worth it. Uh, okay, though. But, we are, uh, we're not in the best HP position, though, admittedly. So, I'm not necessarily looking forward to what's about to come up here, I'm afraid. Oh, crap, I didn't want to use the, uh, the Uchi Katana, but... Okay, I guess we're using it now, baby! Gotta kill this thing quickly! Oh, God! No! Oh, oh, no, not the Scarlet Rod! God damn it. Of all the things. Oh, God, no. I chose the wrong weapon and just the wrong timing. Timing. Yep, awful, awful. No, <laughs> why? Oh. oh, I hate that. I hate that clean rot night. Those discs are annoying to avoid. <laughs> and we have to start. Oh, man. Just revoke my gamer's license right there. The fact that I just died to common enemies. That's a sin. That is a major ass sin. Oh, my God. Uh, just absolute lame status. I, I absolutely just failed. I failed at all that is life. <laughs> uh, get rid of this thing. I I need to clear my name. And now we no longer have the uh, the great rune active, so that sucks. All right, get your shit out of here. Oh my god. Sit down, son. I'm about to give you a music lesson. That's enough, rat. Sit down. Wow. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why it's gotta be, it's always the, uh, it's the big bosses. I'm always like, bring them on, right? I can, I can handle them. I can take care of them, right? But unfortunately, these guys just legitimately suck a lot of ass. I don't know why. It's always the, uh, always the main guys, in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and go ahead and do this. Oh, God. Nope. God damn it. No. <sighs> nope. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, how do you like them apples, huh? Woo! Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Woohoo! Redeemed! Give me my gamer's license back, baby! Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Baby, baby! Uh, I still smell like ass. <laughs> okay, so now we got the, uh, we got the scarab. 
with the scarab, we can actually go ahead and get some, uh... We can actually get some real cha-ching now, if you know what I mean. But, we're gonna come back to Kaled, uh... In a hot minute. What we are going to do, and it's so bloody dark, oh my god. <laughs> so, what is the plan now? We're gonna go ahead... We're gonna go ahead and take the tunnel access right over here to uh, to get to the Altus Plateau. I could go and get the medallion, but I want resources uh, first and foremost. Although, speaking of uh, resources, how about we go ahead and get to... Uh, go ahead and meet up with Celibus, eh? Actually, now that I think about it... Uh, I actually didn't collect enough uh, starlight shards now that I now that I think about it. And the reason why we need starlight shards is so we can is so we can purchase his his other puppet, you know? And of course I don't do his entire quest line all the way, regardless. I just want to get his magic scorpion charm, and then everything else doesn't really matter. And it's now getting stupid hot in here. And somehow I just put the blanket all the way on the top end. <laughs> How's the puppet I gave you? A thing of exquisite craft, is it not? So he did tell us that. Uh, hand over the scroll? Oh no, I don't want to give him that. Uh, just give me... Give me... Wait, I can only give him the conspectus scroll. Huh. And give me the st uh Yeah, okay, that's kinda we Ah, okay, so he doesn't actually for another lesson. Yeah, he doesn't actually tell us anything important. So that was a waste of time in my humble humble opinion. Uh that being said, maybe I should go and get some starlight shards. Ah, uh, we don't need it right now. Oh, man. It's really hot in here. And I mean, I mean, I know I'm not like, I am not the ideal form of hotness, but like, Chabas, it's really hot in, in this room. It's unbelievably so. Like, it, it, could, it couldn't be, it couldn't be any hotter in my opinion. Just, uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what to say. It's just a little... Oh, just a little, uh, a little much for me, I might say. Oh, God, this actually puts me in the heavy load. Oh, uh, that's not good. Why the hell does it weigh so much, then? Uh, I guess we gotta replace the green turtle? Yeah, we gotta replace the green turtle for a bit. Oh, uh, that's fine. That's not the worst thing I've ever done. The green turtle is a good talisman, but... Uh, I just want to get some extra runes from some big enemies, but... Uh, not every single enemy, I don't think. There's, uh, there's no real... There's no real reason. Oh, you made your first mistake, pal! Ooh, okay. Oh! Woo, okay. Oh, hold your horses back. Hold your horses there. What? Okay. Woo! Whoa, okay. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Sucks to suck. I do like the Kaku Knights, though. The Knights, not the soldiers. The Kaku Knights are actually a... I, I just like all of the Knights from... Um, every uh from every area of the game they just have a they just yeah they have very similar designs but their color schemes the helmets the difference in shields and even the items they use very well done it really gives them uh, a, t a kind of character into what kind of tactics uh you expect from an area that is renowned for various different uh different ideologies of tactics. So, Leonia, they actually use some, uh, 
They either use actual magic or use magic grease. It it looks like they uh, they throw you know pebbles and then it's like they throw glintstone uh, glintstone uh, rocks to activate their effects to using grease. You know, you know, you know things like. Details like that make a lot of sense for uh, enemies, for Knights of Liurnia to do that. Leyendale, they actually use more lightning-based uh, ashes of war and whatnot. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. The uh, Kaled ones actually have a lot more technique. Their shields are really weird, too. They definitely... They're def they're, they're definitely the edgy the edgy boys of Elden Ring. Just, <laughs> uh, like, I like, I don't know. Like, hey folks, I got I can use a spear. I can use a great sword. I can use uh, I can use this and that. I got I got a spiky shield though. It's perfect. Explosion. Oh, was there a, uh, an item here? No, there was not. Shame that there is no uh, no item over there. Oh, well. I really do want to use the dismounter, though. But I don't necessarily think I can... I can spare the runes currently, unfortunately. It's just... It's just not very, uh, not very economical, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, God. Yep, I forgot about the poison. I forgot about the poison. I see, uh, yes, I did. The poison. Bonk. <laughs> oh, hi, fella. God damn, these guys just come out of the frickin' woodwork all the damn time. All right, so I need to. Ah! There we go. We got a we get a free smithing stone five from that, so that's pretty Gucci. Uh, although this part always makes me worry, just jumping on down like this. And then of course we have to do the usual waiting. Although since we are going to the Altus Plateau, it might actually be worthwhile to pick up the. Uh, the smithing stones. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we can get the, uh, the smithing stones early, that would be, that would be fantastic, in my opinion. That would be quite perfect. Although, I mean, is it that important? Uh, kinda, probably. Especially if I want to up, yeah, no, because a lot of our weapons, because let's see, we can at least upgrade to all the way up to, uh, yeah, with, uh, Smithing Stone 3 and 4s, yeah, we could upgrade quite a bit, in all honesty. We could totally upgrade, uh, quite, quite a bit. And you can go ahead and explode. <laughs> I just love setting enemies on fire, and they have, uh, explosives on them, so you just kinda... <laughs> So you just kind of watch the fireworks go off. It's, it's, uh, it's beautiful, in my opinion. Uh, it's, I, I love that sort of thing. All right, so now this part is kind of wonky. We have to go around because these guys set up a frickin', frickin' caltrops for no apparent reason. Uh, oh yeah, there is also this thing over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. H hold your horses. There we go. There we go. Go ahead and explode. <laughs> I, I love them. I love just seeing my enemies blow up in a fire. It's beautiful. Give myself a rune arc. Oh, shit. Woo! Whoa! Okay, that was unexpected. I've never seen that animation before. I never got caught up in that. Until now. 
Well, that was legitimately interesting. Oh. And then we're gonna go ahead and let this scarab blow up. Blow up, Scotty! There we go. <laughs> man, man, that's that's so funny. I don't know why the scarab actually just left itself left its dead corpse like that. I mean, well, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's what's the whole dealio with these scarabs, though. I mean, they're scarabs. They roll dung beetle shenanigans and whatnot. But like, why would they hold, you know, uh, crimson and cerulean vials? It's probably just a mechanical thing. But is there like a lore thing attached to them? Nobody ever talks about this stuff. Ah, uh, man. I mean, in all honesty, these uh. In all honesty, these, uh, scarabs are, uh, are like the crystal lizards of Dark Souls, in my opinion. That's kind of what they remind me of. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the actual intent, though. Nope! Suck a fat chode! There we go! Yeah, we're dealing enough damage in this area. We should be okay, folks. We should totally be a-okay. Totally not foreshadowing anything wrong whatsoever. And we get a smithing stone number three. Well, somber. It's it's looking quite somber in this in this hood even. <laughs> ah, beautiful. So I just had pizza today. <laughs> God, why did I say it like that, and then immediately think of Lonely Island? I've just had sex, and then, and then fireworks being shot out of their dicks. Oh my God, that was that was when, man, that was when YouTube was at its peak right there. In my opinion, the Lonely Island was just comedic professionalism, <laughs> like a mouse. Come on, some, someone's got to remember that one. That is still absolutely hilarious. That that entire man. Whatever happened to the Lonely Island, huh? What whatever happened? Legitimately, I I wish I wish to know what happened with the Lonely Island. Did they like I don't know? Did they get canceled or something? Or are they still doing good? Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. Hold hold your horses, everybody. I forgot. Like the moron that I am, I forgot to use... Yep. <laughs> I need to get rid of that HP debuff. I don't know why I even kept it. Ay yeah yeah. That's kinda... That's kinda cringe of me. Very cringe. Ay yeah yeah. Alright, so now we have the issue of trying to target. This isn't gonna reach. It actually did. I'm legitimately impressed. And that's what you go ahead and get. Stupid rat bastard. And then we're just gonna go ahead and toss some black flame. There we go. Come on, baby. Ow! Nope! Oh god! Oh god! Gotta heal! Gotta heal! Ow! Killed- Okay, good. We killed the, uh, the more dangerous one, at least. Oh my god. Man, those guys are still tanky as hell. Even at- Even with, uh, even with a bleed weapon. Then again, I couldn't really reach the- The other bat. Mainly because- Throwing a fireball doesn't really have a lot of reach. Who would have thunk? Uh, that's why I like, uh... That's why I really enjoy, uh... Spell, uh... Sorcery builds, because... Loretta's Great Bow is just... It's just the creme of the crop for, uh... For ranged encounters. It's so... So potent. It, 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 it's... If you ever need another, uh, if you ever need a, a spell, if you ever need an item that can give, that can get you ra your ranged, uh, optimized, 
Loretta, Loretta's great boat is the choice in my opinion. It'll solve all of your problems with good damage and insane reach. But unfortunately, we're not playing a sorcery build this time. Lucky us, I guess. Or unlucky in in this case. I I really don't mind though. All right, what do we got here? Uh, before we, well, actually, we can go ahead and do this part now. Why not? There we go. Get rid of, get rid of you. Ah, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get the get ourselves buffed up here. Yeet us, delete us. Oh God, that's not great. Oh, okay, that worked. Whoa, what the hell? He, this one's got a mask on. Ooh, the overhead slash. <laughs> Cleanse my sins. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we do still have a uh, octopus fellow we gotta take care of. So we were, let's go ahead and do that. We also get a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool curved sword. I wish it was a. Honestly, I, I will be honest. The curved sword we're about to get, I really wish it was a curved great sword. Because I think that would have been a much better find than just finding a curved sword. Because, uh, I don't know. The curved swords are meant to be dual, uh, are meant to be held, uh, dual wield style. Just finding one copy of a specific sword is, honestly, just not, not great in my opinion. It's, it's just... It's kind of sad. All right, let's... Oh, God. Okay, holy shit. Oh! Oh, no, that was aggression. Come on. No! There we go! Woo! Oh my gosh, I was like, what? What is happening? Right, because of you bastards, huh? Wow, although that attack chain... Holy shit, that was... I, uh, I, I don't have an opinion on that. that. Well, I do have an opinion, but like, holy... What? <laughs> that was insane. I've never seen a land octopus just flail around for like 30 seconds or something. That felt like 30 seconds to me. Holy moly, that was insane. Well, at least it's dead. And we still live. Uh, I'm just going to drink this just in case. I know there's no danger up ahead, but... Better to be safe than sorry at this point. I don't trust the game mechanics in the slightest. Oh, I already got that. Oh, okay. <laughs> the game... I always feel like the game is going to change one of these days. And there's just going to be a surprise enemy encounter at a location that normally there isn't one. And then it's... That's, that's totally what Miyazaki would do, though, wouldn't he? He totally would do that. At least... That's what I feel like he would do, at any rate. God damn it, we don't have enough, uh... We don't have enough runes, you say? Oh yeah, let's... Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and get some runes then. Boom shakalaka! Alright, so we can level up once, which is perfect, actually. We're gonna go ahead and juice up our vigor then. 28 vig? Don't mind if I do. More vigor is always good. Especially against this boss fight, Ed. Oh boy, do we need it. 
Uh, shit. No, that's not what I wanted. This guy. There we go. There we go. That's indeed what I wanted right there, folks. And now, the fight begins. Whoa! Why, though? Well, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> no! I just died to... I just died to Makar. That's never happened before. <laughs> I I forgot that he did the uh, the second charge attack, and that's what screwed me over. Whoopsie! <laughs> oh well, it happens to the best of us. In fact, I remember dying uh, quite a bit to Makar on my first run through. In all honesty, so that's. That was indeed a thing that actually- that totally happened. Oh, at the very least, he's not charging now. Oh, okay. He is indeed charging now, though. Okay, though. Okay. What? Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Stab him! Hit him in the kidikis! Oh, we got the lucky bleed! But we're just gonna go ahead and black flame him. Yeah, we're not risking his second phase. <laughs> we just bullied him this time. I love it. I love it. Oh, yes, I do. I love bullying my car very much so. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Alrighty, with that, might as well rest up here before we take up the, uh, the lift. Wait, why did I think I could summon my, my steed here? Of course not. I'd be an absolute moron if I did. Uh, but then again, we have to worry about Lanziax. Yes! That Lanziax? Oh, God. We have to get past her to get to the goodies. Why? Why, why do we need to worry about Lanziax? I, I, like, it's a very cool encounter, okay? But then she just disappears and tells you to fuck off. I, I just don't. Like, why, though? Uh, that, that, that always annoys me. It annoys the ever-living crap out of me. But, I mean, at the very least, Lanziax is pretty cool. I don't like fighting her. I don't like fighting, uh, any of the ancient dragons, period. The ancient dragons just kind of suck. They, mostly because, I don't know who thought, I don't know who, uh, I don't know, I don't know, uh, FromSoft, someone at FromSoft designed them the way, th they designed their, uh, their markers in a very particular way. And it's very annoying to actually, uh, to actually kind of hit them, in my opinion. At least that's kind of working. Ow! Okay, though. Oh, good! Lanzi X actually, actually fled. Much obliged. Well, at least we didn't have to, uh... <laughs> at least we didn't have to, uh... Fight it for very long. That's, that's nice. I appreciate the, uh... The brevity of, uh... I appreciate the brevity of that ordeal, in my humblest opinion. Also, Rhea. Wouldn't Rhea be somewhere around here? 
Uh, I don't see Rhea out and about, though. Well, we got a golden seed, though. Where is Rhea? She would have appeared here, though. Huh. Maybe she doesn't appear? That's weird. But, okay. Now we are in the Altus Plateau. So we can go ahead and get uh, get a few things that I originally wanted. What are those things you may be wondering? Well, let's get the Amber Shard, just so we get it out of the way. So we might as well actually go up this way. Uh, there's probably nothing over there. Maybe, maybe she's all the way over there. Wait, Raya? Raya, that's her name. Why did I call her Raya? Ah, Raya. Or Zarias, I guess. That's her actual name. Alright, so we are here now. That's good. Uh, we're gonna go there in just a hot minute. What we are gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get the Amber Starlight Shard. It's a very pretty shard, though. I wish we could use it to, like, build a weapon or something, but... No, it's used for a side quest, I'm afraid, and that kinda... That kinda blows. I mean, we do get the Magic Scorpion Charm, which is cool. It's, a, it's always a cool reward. But, like... I would've liked something a little... A little cooler, like... Maybe not cooler, but, like... An alternative to, uh, to the game design, like, maybe this item can have another purpose to be used for, right? You know, that sort of thing. That, in my opinion, would be pretty, pretty cool. Why did I stab that guy? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I just, I just felt the need to actually stab a mother fudger. And yes, I did say mother fudger. That's now a thing that just transpired, baby. And Corin is not even here either. Huh. I'm, uh, I'm surprised. Did I break the game? <laughs> NPCs are not showing up when they are supposed to. I am legitimately just surprised. Huh. Man, this is so weird. This is the weirdest thing I've ever experienced in a video game so far. All because I'm trying to do some stuff a little early, too. Like, goddamn. Alright, get these dogs out of the way. There we go. Now we shouldn't have any more problems with those guys. And here we have... Yura. Eleonora. It seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please. Eleonora. Yield to the cesspit no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your salt. Your flesh. Your fire. And Yura dies and we get his Nagakiba. But we now have to challenge the queen herself, though. Woo! She's got some poise, baby! She actually, she actually got me. Oh, I'm gonna die, without a doubt. Woo! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no. And burn, 
the baby. Oh, God, that didn't work. Okay, come on. There we go. What? How? How did that even happen? There we go. Wow. I don't know how I missed my attack so... So spectacularly, but that was... That was just a little too nutty for me. Ah, look at that. We can't even use the Nagakiba. We need, uh... We actually need to put uh, a bit more points into strength here. We need legitimately two more. Oh man! So now we actually have a we actually have a reason to uh, upgrade our uh, upgrade our strength. But we're also going to need to upgrade our equipment load a bit. That, or I could just replace the gold scarab, which is also a fair and logical choice, nevertheless. But, we don't necessarily need the Nagakiba, per se. Alright, so, what we are gonna do now... Because we need to go to the Windmill Village, right? Right. We need to go to the Windmill Village. We're gonna teleport back to the Altus Highway. Just because I think this is the most straightforward path we can do. Now, why am I going to... to the Windmill Village? The Windmill Village has a Black Flame, uh, incantation. And it also has a, uh... What else does it have? It also has a weapon that actually has Black Flame, uh, uh Black Flame Ritual, which is probably gonna be a very cool, uh, very cool weapon. Although, unfortunately, it doesn't even have a bleed, uh, status effect. Nor does it, uh... It, I wish we could get the Ash of War variant, but we simply can't. The Ash of War variant is gonna be locked away in Faru Mazula, which... Which... Which just sucks! Why? Why does the Ash of War variant have to be... Have to be stuck behind a frickin' paywall? Well, not a paywall, right? That's a, that's, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Perhaps, but like, but like, why? Why does it have to be behind very late game content? In my opinion, that that part has never, never ever made sense to me. In my humble list of opinions, Opa! So, I guess I could talk about. Uh, I could give you guys an update regarding Dungeons and Dragons and the whole OGL shenanigans. Oh boy! After the uh, after the recent leaks and insider information, everybody just. I I think a lot of people just. Uh, what what you call it? A lot of people just decided to uh, cancel their subscriptions to D and D Beyond, and. They just really caused an uproar. There was over like 50, like 50,000 comments regarding the OGL combined. And I mean, at this point, and at this point, like, uh, ow. Uh, Wizards of the Coast have made a reply, but a lot of it just seems disingenuous for a lot of people. Oh god. Oh god, these guys are uh Ooh, okay. This is interesting. These ladies are tough. These ladies are legitimately tough now. Maybe it's because I'm a little underleveled. Well, I mean my my spells still hit pretty hard, so I guess that's fine. And uh well, I guess, I mean, technically, because they replied to the, in regards to the OGL, at least they did, but it, it sounded so disingenuous that people are still very mad at them regardless. Nevertheless, a lot of people uh, are very hopeful for the future of tabletop gaming, but not so much Dungeons and Dragons, I'm afraid. Mostly because, uh, 
Wizards of the Coast big rival Paizo is coming back with a frickin' vengeance. Paizo is the uh, creator of Pathfinder, actually. They're currently on their second edition. And Pathfinder was made as a response to Dungeons & Dragons 4th edition, which, funny enough, never used the OGL, which is why D&D fell apart in the first place. So now, because... <laughs> so now, this is basically... Uh, round two of it's it, it it so basically history is repeating itself in a very very hilarious and poetic way it's it's quite interesting quite hilarious and now paizo what they decided to do in response to uh wizards of the coast and hasbo trying to basically repeal the ogl oh god i missed everything Okay. Oh, dear lordy. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, God. Okay. Not good. I just got... I just got gangbanged by some grannies. <laughs> I got stuck to a pole, chained up there, like a useless little tiefling girl, and just... Psh, I just got completely gangbanged by a bunch of these grand... Oh my god! Oh, that's ridiculous! Oh man, that's going on the internet. Yep. Nope! <laughs> what the crap? No! Whoa! Okay, hocus pocus. Oh god damn it. Why, 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 why? Come on. Too much of my HP has already died. What the fu- I was trying to do a running dash and instead my character just did a, uh... Oh my god, I am- I'm- I'm- I am, uh, a little more than miffed right now, everybody. I'm just a little more than miffed. Clearly, I am not doing enough damage here. No! Screw you! Why? Why the dog? Why? 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 What the dog doing? Messing up my life. Nope. There we go. There we go. We got the full. We got the full joined up in this business. Oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, D and D sphere. There's just a uh, in a in a surprising twist though. Even though uh, things are looking kind of bleak for the OGL and Dungeons and Dragons as a whole, there's actually a lot of uh, there's actually a lot of hope for uh, for tabletop RPGs in general because Paizo is actually fighting the good fight, and a lot of influential people have been standing up against Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro for their absolute greed. It's honestly just, it's inspiring and makes me as a, makes me a hopeful individual. In the meantime though, because I am uh, thinking about, well, Dungeons and Drag, the future of tabletop gaming, I've actually been, I've actually started to look around for alternative uh, tabletop rules. Well, not tabletop rules, but Alternative tabletop games, right? And one game I've always actually wanted to try was Vampire the Masquerade. It's a more roleplay oriented game uh, taking place in modern day, in a modern day fantasy. You know, modern day as in our modern day with computers, phones, hospitals, nationwide governments, conspiracy theorists, guns, you know, all that stuff, right? <laughs> 
and uh, there's some really cool things you could do in that it, uh, with the with the lore of the vampire the masquerade and its world there's so much atmosphere i really want to try it now that i think about it oh man that could be very fun but at any rate it's time we uh it's time we go ahead and buff up here because it's time to challenge the Godskin Apostle. Oh, that was bad timing. Yep! Yep! Okay, that's interesting. What? That's interesting. Whoa! He had another attack? Okay. That's interesting. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, that's actually really bad. We are actually gonna lose. No, we're actually gonna lose. No! Oh no, we're actually gonna lose this fight. Not doing very good here. <laughs> oh god, black flame tornado, black flame tornado. Oh, that's bad. Yep, that's actually really bad. Somehow we nicked him. Hey, we got him! No! No! Oh no! Oh no! No! I thought, no! My weapon just didn't actually hit his torch! No! Oh my god! How close we were! Oh, we were robbed! We were absolutely robbed! Oh, that's lame! That is so lame! We almost killed him! And yet... Oh, that was some... That was some major A-tier bullshit if I've ever seen it. God damn it. All right, round two. Why? Why though? Oh God. Why, though? Nope! Oh, God. Ah!
God damn it, man. Nope. Oh God. I need, I need stamina regen. Oh, we, we got a hit at least. Okay, I need to run away. I need to run away. Woo, sweaty palms. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think, let me think here. Let me think. What am I trying to do here? Woo, woo. got what I needed. Oh, God. All right, with that, let's, uh, let's actually go back to, you know what? Let's actually go back to Kaelid because we're actually going to go ahead and go to the dragon, uh, the dragon barrow because I think now is a pretty, pretty good time to come here. Now, you may be wondering, why are we going to the dragon barrow so, uh, so early? Because we can go ahead and get some cool shit. That's why. Uh, what about the uh, the bell bearing hunters? Well, that's a good, good, good. That's a good question. The bell bearing hunters may actually be uh, may not be a terrible idea now that I think about it. All right. Now we gotta go ahead and kill this scarab. Uh, that's not good. Where do you where do you think you're going, pal? Where are you going? Oh shit, that's not good. Don't run away from me. Woo! There we go. So, Vampire the Masquerade. Because I talked about it briefly, and me looking for uh, new systems to try out, Vampire the Masquerade is more roleplay heavy than... Uh, it's definitely more roleplay heavy compared to... Uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Dungeons and Dragons, or even Pathfinder. Pathfinder is de if, is definitely an alternative solution to D and D, but it's much more complex, especially with its uh, combat encounters. I hear that combat encounters an entire turn takes like sixty minutes or something, and that's uh, I mean I think that's like an exaggeration, but like I I, I don't entirely know how it all works. I am interested in Pathfinder, but not any not necessarily. It's it's something on the back burner in my opinion. It's totally something I would keep on uh, on the back burner. But Vampire the Masquerade, I'm definitely interested in the role play aspect of it. It could be a very fun uh, story driven game. I just I'm just not sure if it's uh, if it's if this is the kind of game I want? Question mark. Mainly because. Uh, Vampire the Masquerade is just that. It's mostly roleplay with very... with a lot of skill checks, apparently, which is still cool. I like that. But no combat? It's... kinda difficult to, uh... It's kinda difficult for me to justify trying to, uh... to play it. Because I do enjoy combat encounters, like... a lot, a lot. But I don't know. Makes me just a little uncomfortable knowing this knowledge. But alas, it is what it is.
What the crap? Oh shit. What? No! No, 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 no! Oh, we staggered, we staggered. I mistimed that so badly. Well, there goes Hughes! Bye, Hughes! Go ahead and meet your daughter and dog for me in hell! <laughs> Uh, I I do not regret saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, I love Full Metal Alchemist jokes, even though they're kind of cringe at this point. <laughs> uh, I should really rewatch Brotherhood or something. Nah, no, nah, that that's gonna take too long. Oh well. Alrighty, now, now without the uh, Hughes distraction. We can now go ahead and take on, uh, not necessarily take on, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, take care of Grail. Why am I fighting Grail now? Well, because it's convenient now. It's, uh, it's much more convenient to fight her now. Uh, first of all, I do need to get to the side of Grace and then switch my Ash of War to Spinning Strikes, because Spinning Strikes is gonna be, ah, it's gonna be so good. And then we're gonna get rich, baby. We're gonna get fat fucking stacks, baby. Oh yeah. And there's the mother of all dragons herself. And she's gonna be very angry in just a moment. There it is. <laughs> she do be angry. She do be angry. Oh, we only have one gold pickled foul foot too, so uh, I guess that's fine. All right, so what are we going to be doing now? Is we need to memorize our spells. I'm removing these guys for just a moment. Holy shit! We actually need one point into uh, into uh, into faith to actually use scouring black flame. Huh? That's actually that's actually kind of neat. I'm not gonna lie. That being said, we can't, uh, we can't really use it, which is fine. We're going to be upgrading our stats anyway, so why, why not put one more point into, uh, Black Flame? We might as well also put points into, uh, into Strength, so that we could use the Nagakiba and maybe the, 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 uh, the, 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 the Dismounter. That sounds like a good idea to me. Ash of War, give me spinning strikes. Give me your candy. I'll shoot some candy up your ass. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So we're gonna go ahead and buff up our, uh, gonna go ahead and buff up our shit here. And we're gonna start spinning. Wait, what? Hang on. What? Uh, hold up, what? Oh, here we go. I was like, wait a second, something don't seem right here. Well, now we're spinning at the very least. Now, uh, now, now we are dealing some serious damage here. There we go. I don't know what happened right there. I couldn't even hit her at all. That's, uh, that's kind of weird. That's kind of cringe, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. What's going on here? There we go. Come on, keep spinning. This is thrilling content creation at its finest, folks. Absolutely thrilling content. I absolutely love it. Oh, yeah, look at the numbers rise. Oh, God. And I need to just rebuff this, and then we're just gonna go ahead and just keep on spinning. Absolutely. Come on. Keep on keeping on. Uh, da -da -da. Come on. 
God, this is... I love, I love content. I love Elden Ring. <laughs> this is, this is absolutely thrilling. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop this, pop this right now. Because Grail is about to die in just a good amount of time here. Yep, there we go. Grail, the mother of dragons, is now deceased. And look at how many runes we got, baby! Oh, yeah! We're stacked! We are absolutely just... Oh, beautiful. That's so beautiful. Seeing those numbers are... Oh, they make me... <coughs> They make me choose in my pants. <laughs> uh, am I going to get cocky? No, I'm not going to get cocky just yet. That being said, we do have some uh, some runes. And we might as well stare down a uh, one of these damn crows that likes to ruin my freaking life here. Hi, fella. How you doing? You like your perch? Good. Enjoy it. I do not want to see your face ever again. Ay ay ay. <laughs> okay, so. Now we have a lot of runes, and my controller is still being fucky wacky with me. But how many times can we level up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. S only six levels? Oh, come on! We could totally do better. Ah, uh, oh well. One point into faith. Then, uh, we have points to spare. We can go ahead and upgrade our strength to uh, 19. And then we can just upgrade our... Yeah, we can upgrade our dexterity, because why not? In fact, putting it up to 25 doesn't sound like a very bad idea now, does it? Absolutely not. And with that, we can actually go ahead and switch over to the very beautiful Nagakiba. But I think we need to upgrade it first. And also find a solution to our... to our problem here. What if... Because we need to increase our... our load. What if we used that instead? Then yes, we would actually have enough. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's a little lame. But I do want to keep using the Golden Scarab, though. Ah, oh, god, I probably need to start upgrading my, uh... Yeah, because I, I, I probably have to. I, I don't necessarily have much of a choice on the matter. I may have to... I may have to start upgrading, uh... Oh, oh wait, here we go. Turn. I've decided to leave the round table hold after all. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. May the Golden Order... Well, I took you, my man, to lay out your arm.
took you no matter to lay out your arm. Also, I was talking to myself without even, uh, <laughs> without unmuting myself. <sighs> you know what? Maybe I should never just... <laughs> wow. I, t I had my microphone muted the entire time and nobody told me. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a bunch of time, uh, wasted. <laughs> Oh my god, how long was that? 
Well, that's that's unfortunate. That's very much unfortunate. I'm I'm heavily heavily embarrassed. Wow. This this stream is just one big fuck up. You know what? I'm going to have to just remove my key bindings because these key bindings are causing me more trouble than it is worth. It's better to just use a damn mouse to just unmute myself because I actually have to do it and focus and look at my computer screen than to rely on a stupid keyboard. Oh my god, I am I am thoroughly just embarrassed. Well, at any rate, as you guys just saw, fighting those uh, trees, uh, those tree guardians right there, I was I was getting royally miffed and just absolutely mad beyond belief. Oh my god. Uh, that being said, how are we going to do this boss fight? I have no idea because I really don't want to fight these guys, but it does look like. And you know what? I forgot to change the Asha fucking war again. Because that's what I was complaining about. And I completely forgot to just... Uh, put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> just... Just put a gun in my mouth. With some... With some ramen... With some chicken noodle soup and just... At least I will die with good food in my mouth. God damn it. I am... I am very cursed. I am a very cursed individual tonight. I've... I've just been having the worst day. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I'm having a bad day. Da -da 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 -da. Sing a song just to turn it down. <laughs> that's, that's totally what's going... That's totally what's going on with me, and I am... I am not not having it right now there we go oh my god was it that hard was it that hard to get the advantage on these bastards apparently it is apparently my gosh all right go ahead and uh go ahead and burn yeah, uh, that wasn't necessarily what I wanted. And these guys are way too fast for their own good. Boom! What? That didn't reach? I'm... Okay, I'm a little more miffed. I am now just a little more miffed. That was incredibly stupid. Dare to be stupid. Alright, so... Now we can finally do this boss fight. Oh my god. This will mostly be fine for the most part, I'd say. Alright, let's do this fight. Alright, boom, baby. Okay. And then we just gotta spin around here. And burn! Oh god! Oh, that guy did not like that! Oh god, we gotta run away though. Oh god. Woo! Was that supposed to be a challenge, in my opinion? Was that supposed to be a challenge? Tree avatars are supremely weak to fire. Like, insanely, insanely weak to fire. This was... That was not even a bloody challenge, yo. Oh, man. Actually, now that we are coming in here, though, we should probably get a shield. Makes sense. I'd say that makes sense. We should probably equip a shield here. Oh god, but we don't really have a lot of, uh... We don't really have a lot of space now that I think about it. It's kinda... It's kinda lame. Yeah, we only have two, uh... Two bucklers, but we do need a better shield, though. Can we use the brass shield? Well... No. 
<laughs> I cut umber. No, we cannot. That is way too heavy. The brass shield is way too heavy. Okay. That's 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 funny. Well, hold hold the hold the phone here. So if we decide to switch uh Okay, hold on. I got an idea. So add this. And then we're gonna go ahead and add. No, not even with that! It's too it's too heavy. Yeah, brass. It's uh it's it's great. Wow. Much wow. I love it so much. Alright, get give me a frickin' shield that I can actually hold in my bloody hands. Yeah, this one will usually do for the most part. Usually. Oh god, it's still heavy. Okay, there we go. We can at least put on the damn arsenal charm. I was about to say, if that wasn't gonna work, I'm out of here. I am quitting the stream. Oh, man. All right, let's do this. This is- this is why- this is why I equip a shield. Guard counters are just... disgusting against these guys. Uh, that being said, I mean, a spear is always pretty good, though. Uh, I mean, a shield, I, as long as I have a 100% physical shield guard, or physical shield, I should actually be okay. Um, actually, maybe I should level up first. Leveling up doesn't sound like a bad idea, now that I think about it. Uh, what do we want to upgrade? Our vigor? Probably our vigor. We definitely want to go, uh... We definitely want to go plus ultra once we get to, uh, Radon. And Radon is... Radon is usually not a very fun guy to fight. He's not a very fun guy, if you know what I mean. A fun guy. You know, fun guy. <laughs> oh, God, that reminds me of, a. Uh, Man, the Circle of Spores in Dungeons & Dragons. There's a really cool, uh... There's a really cool, uh... A druidic subclass called the Circle of Spores. I don't like it, personally. Because it- I think it needs a bit more- It needs a few more tweaks. But, I mean, homebrew is usually subjective anyway. Right? So... It's easy enough to make some changes that are actually worthwhile, in my opinion. Alright! Alright, Boyle! Uh, your friend is just gonna keep tossing daggers at me while I'm invincible. Invincible! Invincible! Come on, baby. Are you serious? What a coward. <laughs> I've- I've faced- I faced, uh, more degenerate gargoyles just like that. Oh, God. Come on. There we go. That's, that's the degenerate I was looking for. Okay. Is that what you want, pal? Really? Actually, I... Does the blood... Wait, hold on, does the, uh, hemorrhaging effect actually go through your shield? I don't recall- I don't recall it doing that. If so, that's- that's kinda cheesy. That would be incredibly cheesy if that was the case. Ah, uh, you know what, I forgot to equip, uh... Ah, well, that's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. Yeah, it goes through my freaking shield, it looks like! Well, wait a second, that doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense, though. Uh, item crafting, can I create Scarlet Rock po boluses? No, I cannot, so... We're just gonna have to run away right now. No! Oh, God! Oh, that's disgusting! Oh, God! Are those exoskeletons? Oh, God, those are shell- those are chitin shells. Oh, okay. No, 
that was I never got gobbled up by one of those things before and they look disgusting Ew. okay or at the very least at the boss we don't need the shield definitely not last I uh, last I remember at any rate uh, could my controller stop fucking with me that be that be that be great oh this is this is that okay so it's gonna be one of these Ooh. oh I'm oh my god oh my god okay What? No! I'm dead, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Oh, I hate the- I hate the burial watchdogs. They are li literally the- Ah. Uh, they're easy to fight. I, I just say I hate every boss fight. I hate every boss fight, all right? They always make me think in a particular way where I'm just gonna get fucked up regardless. That's just the mentality of me when I enter a boss fight. And actually, blood loss isn't even gonna do shit against these guys now that I think about it. Oh god, I actually have to drink this to summon uh, an assistant here. All right, that's great. Ow. What the fudge? Okay. Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's great. That's lovely. Oh, and my my assistant just died. I love that. I'm stuck! Yeah, that's great! Alright! More damage for you! What?! This is putting in a lot of work here. Woo! Yeah, Black Flame is really putting in a lot of work. Ow! Whoa! Let me go! Okay. What? What the fudge, man? Okay, that's cheap. What? No, 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 no. Nope. And you're done. Wow. Okay. This entire fight was scuffed, <laughs> but it goes to show how powerful Black Flame can really be. That's why you see a lot of uh, speedrunners rely on Black Flame quite a bit. Well, not all the time, but you most of the time. Black Flame can just be a very powerful asset. And, I mean, it shows. It legitimately shows just how effective that is. Alright, so we're gonna go to the fort here. Why are we going to the fort? Well, I'm glad you freaking asked, because we're gonna go ahead and try to fight the, uh, the other, uh, tree spirit. Why are we doing this? Uh, not the tree spirit, the, uh, the tree avatar, the earth tree avatar. Why we're doing this? 
because it is made out of fire and its moveset is very predictable. So, it's legitimately possible. Plus, we can actually take a shortcut right here. Bada bing, bada boom. We are very much good to go, in my opinion. So, the... There it is right over there. So we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, buff up. That's about it. Woo! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> oh no! I misclicked! I uh, mispressed, but still! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that was... Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But I was very cocky. Alright, what, what can I... What can I say? I was incredibly cocky of that... Of that maneuver I just pulled off right there. Oh man, that was stupid of me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we're in the middle of the Scarlet Rot Massacre here. Oh my god! It's just... It just won't stop! Sucks to suck, man. Whoa, okay. Oh no, this will be bad, though. Woo! Oh shit, that's bad. Yep. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God. Legitimately, we got so close. Oh, I want to try again. I really want to try again. That's that's so tempting to get this to get this fight just right. As you can see, because it is legitimately possible. Oh, baby, it's so freaking. We're just so close. I know we can do it, man. I know we can do this. Oopa! Woo! Okay. Oh god. I need to drink up here, unfortunately. Oh! What? Oh, we're dead. How are we not dead? Well, okay, now I'm actually just fucking up. What? How much reach do you have? Okay, we're out of here. We're actually just done. We're done. We're done. We're not fighting you right now. I almost did it, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Sorry. <laughs> I wasted my time for nothing. That's okay, though. We, uh, we learned a lesson. We learned a very important lesson. 
Uh, we are... We are not good. <laughs> we are legitimately not good at this game. So we need to get, uh, we need to, we need to buff ourselves up a bit more. Uh, although that being said, I feel like, uh, hmm. I mean, what, what do we got here? Yeah, but there's going to be a lot of very tedious things to do next stream, and not just next stream, but the, there's just a lot of tedious things to do in Kaled and uh, you know what we're gonna go ahead and do? We're gonna go ahead and stop here. <laughs> I think, I think, I think we're gonna have a, a shorter stream today. It's, it's just been kind of slow, and, I mean, can we level up? That's a good question. I don't think we can. No, we cannot. That's unfortunate. At least we got, uh... At least we got some good art. We got we got our uh, most of the weapons we want out of uh, out of the stream today, and I think that's that's a good thing. But with that being said, I think this is where we're gonna go ahead and end uh, end the stream for tonight. Just just early, just a bit early, you know. Not a whole lot else is gonna gonna happen. Uh, I hope everybody did enjoy the. Uh, the 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 chaos that ensued and my absolute stupidity whether it's me dying a lot or just not uh, <laughs> not uh, unmuting myself god that's been happening too much now i'm i'm just going to have to unbind those keys because apparently i am a moron to hit the keys again <laughs> but uh you know that's okay you know shit happens like that all the time but uh if you guys did enjoy my unusual rants and incessant uh, in uh, inconsistency and incompatib incompatibility that's not the right word uh incomprehensible ineptitude <laughs> there we go <laughs> then uh go ahead and give me a follow here on twitch i'd greatly appreciate your support and maybe chat with me sometime i i mm. always want to hear what you guys want to say and what you guys want to see me do you know <laughs> or just or I just want to screw with you, that's all. Not in the literal sense. Like, no, nothing weird. <laughs> yep, that's on the internet. <laughs> uh, if you guys miss any of my streams or want to see some funny clips, go over. You can over. You can also check out my YouTube channel over at Zeke720. My handle is Zeke7206. If you want that direct access goodness, and finally. I will, I will always make announcements of my videos or my schedule over on my Twitter account at 720Zeke. And, uh, oh man, it's, uh, uh, Twitter is still a cesspool and it is dying, but it's still a good platform to use. And, uh, if you guys want to ask questions, you can also DM me over there. It's perfectly acceptable, in my opinion. I will. Al I always like talking with you folks, and I always like answering, uh, answering your qu your folks' questions. Sounds uh, sounds legit to me. But with that, that is all for Friday's stream, and uh, no streams over the weekend. We'll be coming back with more Elden Ring next week, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully we can uh, drive up the momentum once again. I'm, uh, <laughs> I do enjoy what I do. It's just that, uh, well, you guys are what makes this happen. And for those of you who stick around, I thank you so much, truly. For those of you who are just lurking, please consider. <laughs> I, I am, I, I love talking about various different topics, and I just want to make your guys' days better. That's all I want to do. And, uh, if you have an interesting subject or you just need to vent some frustrations, go right ahead. I'm, I'm always gonna listen. Always gonna listen. I'm, I'm the type of person that wishes to help as many people as possible. And this is the method I chose. Uh, do I regret this method? Not yet. Not yet. I think we can all have a fantastic time because everybody needs to have a fantastic time. <sighs> well, that was a bit melodramatic, but that is indeed the truth. So, 
if this if this buffoon can make your day just slightly less shittier, I will continue to do it. Because I know it's working. In that in that's in that case. So, without further ado, even though this is a much shorter stream than usual, I want to thank you all again for sticking around, and I hope to make this uh I hope to make 2023 a much better year for all of you. And for myself, of course. Cheers, everybody. I hope to see you all next week. Good, good night.